Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. So a lot of people have been going in an uproar about all this gameplay that has been dropping for 2K. Now I have three sets of gameplay that I'm going to show you guys. So make sure you guys check out the next three videos for today. We have Houston Rockets versus Golden State. I believe we have the Sixers versus New Orleans. And we got some other gameplay. I can't remember. All I was really worried about was seeing my Sixers in action. But just to let you guys know in order to get this gameplay i had to subscribe to ign's uh like i guess they have like a paid subscription or something like that so i paid for it because i told myself dog i'm a person for the community i ain't gonna rip it i ain't gonna do nothing like that you know what ign i appreciate you i'm gonna give you seven dollars but we're gonna take that seven dollars and turn it into a million so every video that gets viewed for the next day i'm gonna donate all the proceeds to giving away copies of nba 2k19 so if you guys see a full gameplay on my channel in the next day or two make sure you guys watch it because that'll give you a chance to get a copy let's get it all right guys so check this out man i want to welcome you all to this gameplay this will be the new orleans pelicans up against the philadelphia 76ers the sixers are at home in this gameplay so all the lights nuances everything the presentation is all sixes related now just to let you guys know i am a proponent of making sure that face scans are updated so if you guys see any player that doesn't look right this may be dev kit gameplay from xbox one x but i'm not sure because the way ign basically said that this is just xbox one x 4k gameplay now since i'm bringing you guys the same 4k gameplay there should be no degradation in the quality of this video this video should not look fuzzy this video should not look you know tearing at all you should not see anything bad in this video now of course they bring david aldridge back uh, everybody knows that because we've seen gameplay prior now as far as ben simmons goes he does have a little bit more facial hair but um as far as the scan goes he still looks like you know like a, a 17 18 year old kid you know what i mean so you know what i do notice about 2k scans are that they really make the player look young you know what i mean like their facial features really really look young and i think this comes from when they had to make michael jordan multiple times and you know as they progressed his age they really it, he really didn't change you know what i mean so that's just the way i feel about it man i feel like most nba players they they really look young in 2k you know what i'm saying like look at ben simmons bro without that facial hair bro he'd be he'd be in uh 10th grade somewhere bro that's all i'm saying but now i noticed that we are watching this gameplay on broadcast um i'm not really a fan of watching gameplay on 2k view as far as like you know 5v5 goes now i'm cool with watching 2k view on you know like a my career or something but not on 5v5 gameplay because this is just like watching it on tv or you know if you're high up in the nosebleeds now reddick pulls a moving three-pointer something that he could really hit in the nba covington gets the rebound heavily contested and misses so now New Orleans is out on a break, which doesn't really turn into a break. They really stop, slow it down for a half-court set. They should have hit that man in the corner, but they still get him cutting in the paint. Good layup. Now, if you guys notice, whoever is playing for IGN, they are playing with my 76ers. All right, so I want to make sure that these guys know what they're doing. I hope, you know, they go to everybody's strengths. And I don't know why, but they think that Simmons left is his strength. And he passed it out to Reddick, and Reddick for three once again, and he can't hit the early open. That person got to get his timing down, man. You can't be out here releasing too early. Come on, fam. You can't be releasing too early. You got to at least release a good release or late. I respect the late over an early. I don't know why. I just feel like, you know, if, if the if the meter bounces back on you, you should be cool. You know what I'm saying? But if you completely just mess up that joint and do it early, oh, man, we got to have a talk. Now, Rob Covington, I don't know why he didn't cut to the basket, but that's not smart basketball by the AI. And pulling that with Ben Simmons in that situation was definitely not smart. Now, as Ben Simmons was coming down the court, Rob Covington's uh, AI should have been smart enough to say, hold up, he's coming my way. I need to cut to the basket. You know, I'm all about player movement here, man. Um, Reddy comes down with the ball. Simmons, I don't know why, is breaking to the corner. That's not a spot that I would like to see Simmons in. Simmons is supposed to be at the top of the key where Rob Covington is. And Covington is supposed to be in the corner. And what is this dude doing at IGN? You get a loose ball foul. You're trash. Go ahead. Get, get back down court, man. What is up with this guy? Now, uh, yeah, so if you guys notice, man, the player movement definitely needs to be upgraded, man. And Ben Simmons is uh, trying to come for the double team. 
Now they popped a nice little switch here, and Anthony Davis is just in the paint. The CPU didn't know what was going on as he cut back door, but, you know, I'm just watching this gameplay, man. All right, so Ben Simmons, little in and out pull up jumper from the mid range. It was it was a late release, but he was wide open, so I respect the the make on the um, late shot. Uh, let's see. All right, so he's he's trying to um, guard up with Covington. Nice screen right there. All right, where's the help defense coming from? All right, pop back up to Holiday. Okay, he's sliding with that uh, screen hold, and okay, that looks like a bump still. So bump stills are still in the game, 100%. Pull up with Sarge Green, release off the backboard. I like that. I like that. All right. So, like I was saying, man, um, bump steals. It looks like we're never gonna get those to um, be taken out of the game. I guess 2K just wants people to be at fault for certain things that they do in the game. Even though sometimes when people are moving, you know, bump steals shouldn't happen. Now that was a clean pick right there, and I like that animation. And they should have kicked it over to Ben Simmons for the alley oop or something, but. I like that strip right there by Ben Simmons. It was a really, really nice strip. It goes to show that, you know, if you do put yourself out there as far as exposing the ball, you can be at fault and get them cookies taken. Now, I'm not sure what difficulty this guy is playing on. It's currently 8-4. to four. I'm not sure if it's rookie, pro, or whatever the case may be, but he's still swiping out here, and uh, he gets a foul call right there. Now, it looks like they are bringing in three new players, man. TJ McConnell, uh, Markel Fultz, and uh, Wilson Chandler. Now, I don't know why they swapped them guys out, man. Don't nobody want to see these three. We, I mean, I can see Markel, but I don't want to see TJ in them. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh, outlet. Hold up, Fultz. Nice layup. It was a late release. He was open, and I don't know. Did he hold his arm like he got fouled? That's <laughs> pretty cool animation. All right, let's see. All right, TJ trying to get them clamps, man. This dude from IGN is just guarding up real nice. All right, kicked it to Davis. That was a terrible shot. I don't know what the CPU was thinking, but we got Wilson Chandler out on the break. Pass to TJ, and TJ is out here trying to lay down the sauce. Okay, I like that. I like that. So it's currently 12-4. to um, I would have to say that the CPU is either on rookie or this dude is playing with the sliders all the way up. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, I guess... You know, as far as gameplay goes, it only makes sense to play on a low difficulty so they can, you know, try to score and, you know, get as much gameplay out and, you know, a feel for the game. Me, if I was IGN, I would have at least put it on Superstar. But, you know, I'm not sure how they are, you know, as far as competition playing. But, you know, me, if I got my hands on the game, man, I'm definitely going to Superstar. I don't need to go to Hall of Fame because Hall of Fame, you just notice, like, a lot of real basketball, like pick and rolls, cuts, uh, dumping it down in the post. If we get steals, we throwing alley oops or corner threes. Like you know, we play, we kind of play like CPUs when we playing on Hall of Fame, man. People that play on Hall of Fame really don't get to have that much fun, man. We got to just make smart plays to try to win the game. That's how that usually goes. Now it looks like uh, Johnson has on the, um, those Kyrie's and nice pass to Davis right here. Good contest by Embiid. But he's jumping all over the place, and Anthony Davis finally gets that. Now, if you notice, the person from IGN did not switch down low on Embiid. They said, you know what, I'm just going to let the CPU do it. And I don't know how he didn't notice that he had Embiid wide open. Now, let's see what type of moves he has with Embiid right there. That's heavily contested. He should have up-faked him or something like that, man. He would have had a better chance at making that layup. Now, to coming down court... Anthony Davis is just making these dudes look like fools, man. Look at that, bro. 12-4. Now it's 12-8. The four-point spin. If he can't score, man, he's going to be getting tied up real soon. Now he's in the post-up animation with TJ McConnell. What is this guy thinking? What? Is, bro, passing out a shot. So I'm guessing passing out a shot is still there. Why not? All right. Chandler pulls up. He was definitely not open on the coverage. So... You know, it goes to show that if somebody shoots quickly after catching a pass, and oh my God, an and one. But if somebody shoots uh, quickly off of catching a pass and their defender really doesn't pop up, I guess they'll be classified as open. You know what I mean? So if uh, people that play my career, play Pro-Am, play Park, that animation that you just seen with a late contest but being open, make sure you guys uh, definitely talk about that in the comments. Definitely talk about that on Twitter because you guys like to talk about how somebody was heavily contested when they weren't. And I guess 2K just showed you that a person, I guess, in that animation was not contested, even though it looked like he was smothered. So uh, Anthony Davis can uh, put one more point on the board, but uh, New Orleans would still be down. All right, now Chandler is bringing the ball out. Okay, TJ is coming up court. Now, he hasn't really did too much with Markel Fultz. Let's see if he goes to him here. And Markel's in the corner, and B's kind of in his way, so... 
I understand why he went to Embiid, and I don't understand why he went with that shot. And Anthony Davis just got, went into takeover mode, bro. So let's see what Anthony Davis does here. Give me that rebound snag. Oh, he ain't snagging, man. Okay. All right, so it looks like he's a defensive prowess. Look at the get that mess out of here, boy. What the fuck with you? Davis out here said, yo, man, takeover guy is alive. <laughs> All right, so check this out, man. TJ going up on Peyton. And he's far past the three-point line. I don't know why the pressure's on. They're still up one. It's like these dudes are on the full court press. All right, Miritich hit that uh, layup, so now they're up. I don't know what this dude is doing. He was just up 12 to 4, and now he's down with 22 seconds left in the match. This dude is trash. <laughs> oh, man. All right, who you going to go to now, bro? Oh, you going to call that pick and roll, huh? Okay. You must not know. Anthony Davis right there sliding, boy. All right, he tried to get the switch. You're not going to drive past him? Were you? Oh, my goodness. He took a terrible shot right there. Uh-oh. Everybody playing pity pad, but I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Remember, I got more gameplay for you guys. Make sure you guys like. Make sure you guys subscribe. And I'll see you all in the comments, man. Peace out. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.